Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget that you can get free stocks if you if you use my Webull link, which is at the top of the description of the video below. My channel has a cooperation with Webull. In this video, we're going to talk about Palantir, which we've already talked about many times before. So in this title, though, in this video, the title says Palantir, this is getting out of control. And it really is getting out of control. Unbelievable what this company is doing. And uh, really, just before we even start, I mean, think about the deals, not stop. I've mentioned this many times before. It seems like, I'm not saying it is exactly every two weeks, but it seems like every two weeks is a new deal, a new contract, a new partnership. Um, so let's look at some things that are changing. It's a game changer for Palantir, the latest deal, and a silence to the critics. So thanks to Palantir's latest initiative via its partnership with Data robot guys data robot we're going to get into it right away first of all how many people criticize palantir not not you the retail investor but from the top the palantir is doesn't really have long is, is not really that great it's not this it's not that they rely on government contracts oh come on how many government contracts can they get these people don't know what they're talking about and palantir just changed everything so thanks to Palantir's latest initiative via its partnership with Data Robot, disruptive innovation might finally be coming to the rescue for retails for the retailers. Palantir is getting into the retail section, not the U.S. government. Uh, I mean, it's still going to have U.S. government contracts, but they're getting into the everyday life, normal, small, medium-sized business what makes up the heart of america so palantir is combining their foundry platform with data robots model development capabilities to create guys real-time solutions for the most pressing problems with demand forecasting models for businesses for your everyday grocery store for whoever all right this framework will be customizable to each company's unique situation that will enable clients to create and test forecasting models with minutes of integration instead of the previous time frame of months available through other platforms um, this is a big game changer uh, not just for the retails business but for palantir in that it opens up now new avenues of revenue all right and uh, acceleration so this development is so significant because it helps to even the odds across the retail playing field while deep pocketed powerhouses like amazon costco and walmart already have significant in-house demand forecasting capabilities other retailers are likely significantly behind now they will be able to access similar if not better than what amazon costco and walmart are using demand forecasting modeling through Palantir's latest innovation. So this in turn will enable them to improve their forecasting accuracy, which in turn will save them immense amounts of costs in their supply chains and store restocking efforts. As for Palantir, the growth potential is enormous as well. All right, so you're gonna see Palantir, uh, re you know, when we did it, the last video we, t we did it for Palantir, I said that by 2030, they'll have about, the way they're going, they'll have about a $12 billion uh, revenue income now with this guys uh, it seems like uh, it's going to change it's going to be higher all right so Palantir is going to grow even more now as for Palantir the growth potential here is enormous as well according to a 2021 global buy buyer uh, view study 35 percent of businesses have limited artificial intelligence expertise and 33 percent view the increasing complexity of data as a barrier to adopting artificial intelligence with a user-friendly cutting-edge tool like this uh, like Palantir's, their ability to attract small and mid-sized clients will likely improve significantly and, uh, you know, positive for Palantir. Meanwhile, their government business continues to widen, all right? They're not, done, they're not out of the government business, obviously, and that continues to widen. They recently scored an impressive $18.4 million contract with the Federal Aviation, uh, the, with the FAA, who contracted Palantir to provide data analytics tools that will help improve the agency's modernization goals for aviation safety. So another interesting development was the announcement that Palantir had received a patent uh, for mapping geotag data. This patent means that Palantir now owns a unique mapping system for constructing and displaying structure uh, geotag data with interactive digital imagery. This is unique because it is very user-friendly and efficient since it only requires a few clicks of the mouse on a digital map instead of requiring the user to manually enter geographic data. So their growth runway is virtually unlimited right now. Right? The way Palantir can go on from here on is virtually unlimited. They're accessing 
every aspect of the economies besides the government. And their current total addressable market is estimated to be $120 billion, and that's going to grow. And it is forecasting it is forecast that the Palantir will grow, the, 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 I'm sorry, that their um, addressable market is forecasted to grow at 20% compound annual growth rate, right? By 2030, we're talking about Palantir's addressable market, not Palantir. Palantir itself, the CAGR for Palantir itself will be about 30% minimum, I believe. So as Palantir continues to leverage its numerous and ever-increasing strengths, we expect them to capture more and more market share. So that's that, guys. I think it's very positive news for Palantir, and you can see how they're really getting out of control. In a, in you know, if, uh, we're talking about the the stock, you know, in a positive way. Please let me know what you guys think, and I wish you guys all the best. Take care.